Now we're going to practice believing. We're going to say to ourselves, yes, there is a power. We can use it. We will use it. And then we're going to be intelligent and we're going to figure out how to use it until we ourselves believe. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you and I knew that there is nothing between the right desire of the heart, the yearning of the mind, the longing of the soul, and that which might be but our own belief or our own unbelief. And if that is so, then we have the proposition where we can handle it. For you and I can control our thinking. And we can come to the place if not instantly, then certainly we shall come to it gradually. But it doesn't matter how we get there. We are going to come to a place where we believe in the power greater than we are, believe in ourselves because we know it, and believe even right down to the method we're using that our own thought, our own meditation or prayer, whatever you choose to call it, will convince everything within us that seems to doubt. And perhaps out of all the doubt and the yearning and the longing, you and I will come to know there is a power greater than you are, than I am. And we can use it. Now, friends, we're going to use this power very simply, very definitely and directly. And we're going to try to believe that it is done unto us as we believe. And we're going to try to just let go of every doubt or uncertainty, every lack of conviction, just because it's a power bigger than we are. We can trust something greater than we are. We don't have to trust ourselves. Now we call this uh, meditation and meditation is something you do to yourself, something like this. Suppose you just get still a moment. Let's, uh, let's even close our eyes for just a moment. Kind of shuts us out from these things that disturb. And let's say, I really believe right now, down deep in my heart, there is a power for good. This power is directing me because it's intelligent. I shall know what to do. I shall be directed. There will be some impulsion, something that will tell me what to do. There is an intelligence, you see, that actually knows. So let's turn again to it and say, Every thought and idea that is necessary to the accomplishment of the good thing I desire, which expresses a more abundant life and which brings only good to everyone. It's all happening to me now. Now that's quite simple, isn't it? But if this power is here, if it works the way I'm sure it does, then it works on the simplicity of our own thinking. It isn't profound words. It isn't any spiritual gymnastic we go through. Just like a child. It's guiding me. It's directing me right now. Now let's again turn our thought inward. Close our eyes. And let's say, each one of us, that we greatly desire that we shall bless everyone we meet, 
that we shall bring happiness and joy to every situation. Let's believe that it is true, and then it will be true. And it's true not because you and I know very much, we're very ignorant, but there is a power, and it does work, and it's working right now.